In this video, we're going to talk about certification renewal. Now, in the last couple of weeks, Microsoft has been sending out emails that have the subject line, action required, your Microsoft certification will expire in 180 days. So if you have an active Microsoft Azure certification expiring in the next six months, they will send you an email for a method to renew it. Now you'll see which certification is expiring and what date it has to be renewed by. And there's a button to take you to the renewal site. Microsoft recently changed their renewal process so that you don't have to take the same exam again, but in fact, you just pass an assessment for free on the Microsoft Learn website. Clicking that button will take you to this page that talks about the renewal process. Now, right now I don't have my profile, I guess, connected to my certification. But there's something interesting about this. Now you'll see here that the skills measured on the assessment is very focused on a few different topics. In this case, I'm talking about the developer exam. And you'll see that the skills measured is only the durable functions and uh, basically Azure functions with triggers, a couple of Cosmos DB topics and an Azure API management topic. And so it's such a small skill set from the overall greater Azure developer role. So this is not just like taking the Azure Pearson view test in the Microsoft Learn format. It's only on a few items. If you go down to the learning modules, you can see that there's only five learning modules that have 45 minutes of runtime, although I'm not sure how they calculate that because each of them have 40 minutes, 40 minutes, one hour. So there's at least a couple of hours of content here. But again, they're very focused on durable functions, triggers, API management, and Cosmos DB. So learning even the learning modules are focused on the assessments uh, contents. So I can uh, connect my certification profile, take the renewal assessment right now for free. And if I fail it, I can take it again and if you fail it twice, you have to wait 24 hours. And you do have until 180 days, roughly six months from now, uh, to pass it. So hopefully you can, anyone who's really, really interested can pass it uh, for free. So it's very interesting how they're doing this renewal. I'm going to sit down now. I think we're just going to you know, let her rip, take the renewal and see how it goes. But basically getting your renewal options, it's now it's live and you'll see an, e an email on your on multiple Microsoft emails. They'll send you relating to your Microsoft certification. And hopefully it's a fairly simple process to take that and get renewed.